Today I'm going to show you how to create one of the Crane family favorites, barbecue pizzas on the grill. The first thing you'll want to do is gather all of the ingredients that you'll need to make your pizzas. The two most important ingredients are frozen bread dough and olive oil. Other than that, you're just going to choose toppings that suit your taste for your pizza. Today we're going to make a couple of pepperoni pizzas and also a couple of veggie pizzas with spinach, roasted red bell peppers, mushrooms, tomatoes, and we're going to throw on a little bacon. All of our pizzas start with olive oil and bread dough. You want to remember to start your grill early in the cooking process so that by the time your pizzas are ready to go, your grill is nice and hot. Next, we're going to defrost the bread dough. I like to cover it with a little bit of drizzled olive oil so that the dough doesn't get too dried out in the microwave. Then I'm going to wrap it in some plastic wrap. Now I pop the frozen dough into the microwave and I use the auto defrost setting, which is the same as defrosting the dough for about a minute and a half. Once the dough is thawed, I cut it into four pieces. One loaf of dough will make four good sized pizzas. Next, I lay out a square of aluminum foil for each pizza and spray it with some nonstick spray so that my dough doesn't stick to the foil. You want to flatten each portion of dough into a nice round crust. I start with the dough in my hands and then work it into a circular shape on the foil. Once the dough is shaped, we brush it with some olive oil to keep it from sticking to the grill. Now you're ready to put the dough onto the grill and cook the first side. You peel the foil away as you put the crust onto the grill, and then you want to watch them carefully because they only cook for about a minute on the first side. While my husband is cooking the dough on the grill, I'm inside preparing some of the toppings for the pizzas, including our tomatoes. I'm going to saute some of the vegetables for the pizza. I start with a large skillet on the stove, some olive oil, and some garlic. After the garlic has had a chance to soften in the oil, I add some spinach to the skillet. It looks like a lot, but if you've ever cooked with fresh spinach before, you know that it wilts down quite a bit once it's warmed in the oil. Here you can start to see what I mean. The spinach has begun to wilt, and it's already about half the volume that we started with. And in just a couple of minutes, the spinach has completely wilted down. Now we're ready to add the rest of our vegetables. I add chopped, roasted red bell peppers and chopped mushrooms to the pan and continue to saute for a few more minutes. Now the vegetables are done and they're ready to go on top of our prepared crust. Our family is divided on favorite pizza toppings. Both of our sons choose just pepperoni, while my husband and I are a little more adventurous with the veggies. Here's my son Bryce, starting his pizza with traditional red sauce. Next, he adds lots of pepperoni. And he finishes his pizza off with a healthy dose of shredded mozzarella cheese. For my pizza, I chose to skip the red sauce and instead used olive oil and added sautéed vegetables onto the crust. I covered that with some chopped bacon and mozzarella cheese. Now that our pizzas are topped, we're ready to slide them back on the grill so that the crust can finish cooking on the second side. You're going to leave the pizzas on the grill a little bit longer this time, about two to three minutes. When they're finished, the crust will be completely cooked through, the toppings will be warmed, and the cheese will be melted. Here's a look at the finished pepperoni pizza. And here's a look at the finished veggie pizza. And finally, here's a look at the happy family enjoying our masterpieces. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you give barbecue pizzas a try at your house.